Ryan Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. Yes, Mike is back. Got his grades up. Although we'll see how he did in algebra when I talk about this uh, this WrestleMania thing here today. Hopefully you're 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 uh, you're smarter than uh, anyway. So we had a WrestleMania this year, and they were going to run a two night event. Do you guys remember this? I hope so. Uh, allegedly. And let's get to the allegedly first. Allegedly, they were going to sell 25,000 tickets each night. Then there was a meeting with the city and the hotels. And WWE was talking about wanting to bump it up to 40,000 tickets. 45,000 tickets each night. All right? They put tickets on sale. The tickets go very rapidly. They're very close to selling out completely. These are all the stories that we heard. And then, of course, there's a couple of, oh, they're not even close to selling out. I started getting this, like, the day that they were selling all these tickets. They're not even close. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? So then it's been like this back and forth for weeks now. And the estimates that I got were, these were the estimates that I got. It looked like, to the people that were there in the building, the people that were there at the show live in the building, that there were around 11, 12,000 people on the first night and 15, 16 on the second night. Oh, everybody goes out of their mind. There's no way they sold out. Ah, there's people freaking out. These are the numbers, okay? It's from Brandon Thurston. WrestleMania earlier this month, he writes... Drew 40,806 individual ticket sales, generating 6.82 million or 6.2 million for the two day event. The first night was attended by 18,328 people, the second night by 18,924 people, according to records obtained through a request to the Tampa Sports Authority, the entity that manages the stadium. Paid ticket sales for each night were slightly higher due to more than 3,000 tickets each night that were distributed. But they did not ultimately reach the gates, possibly due to an overeager secondary market. Saturday's event drew 20,000 ticket sales. Second night, 20,000 ticket sales. WWE, of course, announced higher attendances. There were 7,952 sales of two-day packages, all of which were stadium seating as opposed to suites. Saturday sold 11,964. Sunday sold 12,503. Although the average price of tickets sold was 190, blah 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 blah. Okay, so everyone's freaking out again. Oh, see, I told you they didn't sell out. Listen, Mike, is this not abundantly clear what happened at WrestleMania? They put about 20,000 tickets on sale. They sold all 20,000 of them. They opened up a few more the day of the shows for the walk-ups and everything. They sold all of the tickets. Now, granted, a good portion of those were probably sold to brokers, secondary market, whatever. And once they bought them, they couldn't move them. That's why between fifteen and 18,000 went through the turnstiles both days. Try not to sneeze as I do this rant right here. So, if you want to say, if you want to say that, you know, 5,000 went to ticket brokers and then the ticket brokers couldn't sell them. Therefore, those tickets weren't sold. Like, if you want to be crazy, you can, but the tickets were sold. The brokers bought the tickets from WWE. If I'm running an event and I put 10,000 tickets on sale and I sell all 10,000 tickets and a, like a scalper bought 5,000, but they couldn't unload 5,000, so only 5,000 show up at the building... Bro, I sold out. I don't care what happened to those 5,000 tickets. I sold them. I got the money. So if you want to be all crazy about it and say, oh, well, they didn't sell out and, and they, they, it was ter Fine. But you know what? They put 20,000 tickets on sale both days. They sold all of the tickets and maybe 15, 18,000 people went through the turnstiles each day. That's how many people showed up at WrestleMania. If you want to categorize that as some sort of failure or lack of, of inability to sell out, bro, go ahead. But they sold out. Did they sell out 25,000? No, they didn't put 25,000 on sale. Did they sell out 40,000? No, they didn't put 40,000 on sale. They put 20,000 on sale the first night. 
They put 20,000 on sale the second night. They sold all the tickets. And then X number of people walked through the gates on night one. And X number of people walked through the gates on night two. And that's how many people were in the building. Is this not clear? What is the problem with this? I'm not sure what the issue is here. I don't know what, what people are so upset about. Do they just want to dunk on WWE that badly where they said, well, nobody was down there? And look. WWE sold all of those tickets. They may have done it to the secondary market brokers, but guess what? That's how everything works now with tickets, no matter what it is. I don't. If people are doing that, are they also, in the the other hand, rubbing it into everybody that had you know another show down there that weekend, another meet and greet, another convention that didn't do anything either? I think everybody overthought how many people would be flocking to this event this year, and a lot of people did flock to it, but a lot of people also didn't. So there seemed to be a lot of gaps in in what people you know what expectations were, what reality actually was for this thing but if you want to dunk on wwe there's plenty of things to dunk on them uh with than this where I, again i don't understand i don't see why this is such a big deal but it just seems to be the wrestlemania attendance now has got to be it's always got to be a hot button issue and we go back to wrestlemania 3 and what did zane bresloff tell dave and all this other stuff when it comes to this and it's kind of ridiculous at this point it is ridiculous but dude i mean wikipedia apparently has the attendance listed for both nights is 25,000 wikipedia is supposed to be like these are the facts of the matter they're Stop. taking no it is they're no, taking it's not the you know fake, that no it is it's supposed to be mike they don't do that no, that's because what, they're that's wrestling dorks no that's what evolution has now created with us where online wikipedia the same wikipedia that anybody can go in there and edit even though they have people that oversee it is still like i mean anybody can put anything up there and it's not you know it's it's a reference tool but it is not the truth it is not you know a tome that you can look at no, and go, but there's you know, a all point. of the answers are in here. There's a reason that they have editors. And the editors are, if you go on there and you write in my Wikipedia that uh, I'm 90 years old because I got no hair anymore, like, the point of the editor is to go in there and go, well, he's not 90, that's a fake number. But these nerds are all, oh, uh, even though Vince admits that these are these numbers are for entertainment purposes, we're going to quote this 25,000, even though the actual city numbers, the numbers from the actual city, oh, we got to disregard those. Vince McMahon said 25,000. We've got to put that number up there. Meanwhile, Adnan Verk is getting all his information about WWE from the WWE website. That's even worse than getting it off Wikipedia. He's, uh, that's another story entirely. <laughs> but anyway, th this is what the ticket numbers were, everybody. Bro, like, they sold $6.2 million in tickets. They don't care where those tickets went. Mm -mm. They don't care. <laughs> Not at all. No. No. Sorry. It just, it stinks because, look. If I had 100,000 whole... people signing up for the website, but only like 80,000 accessed it, am I going to get angry? Oh, you 20,000 people that are paying every month, I'm mad that you're not actually using the service. No, if you want to pay and not use it, that's your prerogative. I still got the subscription, right? Do these people know anything about business? Apparently not. Apparently not is correct. That's what these youngins need to learn. You know, forget about algebra. Yeah, it's so crunchy there, you better be taking your business classes. Just go back to basic math. You know, people talk about numbers, this, that, the other. You, let me tell you something. I can't count that high, but I can count dollars, okay? I can count paper. I know how to do that, all right? And I don't know what X equals, but I know what these dollars in my pocket equal. And sometimes, at the end of the day, especially when it comes to WWE, look what they did with their streaming service that they sold for a billion dollars. At the end of the day, sometimes that's all that matters. And in this case, this year, that's all that matters. I can't believe they got that many people to go down there and spend money on tickets and go inside that building, but they did. So oh, look at this. There Some is. geek, June 12, 1921, age 99, on my Wikipedia right now. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.